Hello, I'm Larson the Wolf, and this is VA-11 Hall-A, aka Valhalla. Valhalla is a bartending simulator based in a dystopian cyberpunk San Francisco. It was developed by Sukiban Games and published by... Oh, uh, what's up with your publisher names and, like, not being able to make a normal word? I think it's Yesbird Games, but it's spelled Y-S-B-R-Y-D Games. Mahalo was released in 2016 for $15 for PC, Mac, and Linux. I had a lot of fun with this one, so let's get into it. In Valhalla, we take control of a female bartender named Jill, who lives alone with her cat. The bar we work at is a dive bar in the downtown area of Glitch City, which is the seedy underbelly of the city. We work with Gil, the only other bartender, and your boss, who Jill seems infatuated with. This game honestly plays like a virtual novel, with your rotating cast of customers being 95% of the story and gameplay. They basically unload all their troubles and frankly dirt onto you, with some of the patron stories interconnected. As you can expect, the writing and execution of the characters is the number one concern to the game's quality, and I'm happy to say that the writing in this game is pretty interesting. I wouldn't call it good, as it goes for the campy anime caricatures, but it's very colorful and interesting. It frankly was a pleasure to read. All characters felt consistent and there weren't any scenes where I felt like, eh, they could have written that better. What's more is you'll have plenty of time to figure out your regulars as the game can last from 7 to 12 hours. If I were to quantify the atmosphere of the game, I would say it's 80% comedy of all stripes of the genre and 15% drama and just a 5% it of mystery. I personally enjoyed the comedy of the game's interpretation of the characters, and I feel comfortable saying it's one of the funniest games I've ever played. That being said, I felt that sex, at least in the beginning, was a bit too much of a crutch for the game. All the customers in your bar had something to say about their sex life. It was mostly a tool for blue or childish comedy, but it seemed like an odd thing for first-time visitors to say to the bartender. But Valhalla seems very self-aware without being self-deprecating. An example of this is Dorothy, an android prostitute that has a body of a 12-year-old. She's a lolly-chan sex worker. The best part about Dorothy's character is that she's a bit of a weirdo with no filter, and happy to tell you about her sexual exploits. This leads to some fucked up stories that are kind of a sub-commentary on weeaboo culture as well as pedophilia. Bahala does this without being preachy, and it really doesn't come across as serious due to the consensual nature of the stories. Rather, it's more of a comedic, wait, what, moment from the player. And also, it's not treated as normal from other characters in the game either. Some of them even saying things like, I'll never look at mall Santas the same again, and that girl has seen some shit. In between days of work, you go home to your apartment. This is kind of a break moment for saving and loading. And you can also access news, blogs, and a chat board. The comments and stories of all of those help fill in the background information on the world and the current angst and tragedies that are occurring. It is here I want to praise the chat board section. The chat board seems to be a fusion of Reddit and 4chan and it takes some popular lingo from them. The writing is so well done that it did really feel like a forum I would see in real life, which impressed me. Often when writers try to betray this subculture it comes across as cringy and inaccurate like an outsider looking in. The last thing I wanted to mention was the apparent link from this game to read-only memories, ROM. It's ironic that I would review this game now, as my first review was about a year ago, and it was ROM. At any rate, it seems that they are unofficially connected, with Valhalla occurring sometime after ROM. We know this because references to Turing and the awakening of AIs are peppered throughout the game. Along with your boss saying she used to date Rex in reference to the renegade coffin rod. As artificial intelligence have become sentient and they are now on equal footing with humanity. This idea is given a face value reality and it's not really explored in the game as far as I know. Bahala also has a colorful cast of different sexualities like Ron, but it is notably less preachy about it. 
At any rate, if you enjoyed the world of ROM, Valhalla is more of that, with fully realized and interesting characters. As I said before, Valhalla is a virtual novel, for the most part, but there are some interesting mechanics you can play with, as changes slash branching and narrative are not done by dialogue choices, but by the way you serve your patrons. After some conversations with your patrons, they will ask for a drink, and you will then have to look up said drink and serve it. However, as the player, you have the choice of making a normal, a double, or to load a drink with alcohol. Depending on what you do, the patron may become drunk, and of course their dialogue will change and the overall story will branch. You can also choose to serve the wrong drink, or an incorrectly made one. Not all customers are straightforward with what drink they want. Some will ask for a broad description like, I want something sweet, or I want something to wake me up. In rare circumstances, you will be asked something cryptic and expected to read drink descriptions in order to find the right drink. There is thankfully no time limit mechanic in the game, so the player has plenty of time to relax and mull over the rhythm. There's also a meta mechanic in the game. After work, Jill will have earned an amount of money depending on how much she's been tipped and how many people came to the bar. This money can be used to buy items that Jill wants before going to work. If you buy said item, Jill will remember what drink the customer asked for and or hint at the answer to a riddle. Just keep in mind, you also need to save money for rent. Finally, there are some instances in the story where new temporary mechanics are presented, such as when Jill is hanging out with someone and you are able to control how many beers she drinks, and, of course, this also controls how drunk Jill is during the conversation. There's also a truth or dare section where you are able to choose who Jill picks to ask truth or dare. These moments were very rare, but they were refreshing reprieve from the standard mechanics of the game. The game looks rather nice. Again, it's an anime-esque art style with many characters and designs being tropes of the genre, including chibi versions in some scenes. It also has a pleasant pixelated art style on top of all that. Tsukiban Games didn't cheap out on the small things either. Patrons are not stagnant images. Rather, they cycle through a number of subtle animations depending on the emotion of the conversation you're having. Finally, one of my favorite things about this game is the soundtrack. In the beginning of each day, you will pick songs that will play in the bar. These songs are about nine times better than what they need to be. Composed by Michael Kelly, the tracks are a range of EDMs, but special care seems to have been taken with songs of a synth or melodic nature. There were instances where I had to stop playing the game and just listen to the beat-heavy tracks this soundtrack found my weak spot, and its composer deserves his own shoutout. Looking back at VA-11 Hall A, it's hard to say that anything is really wrong necessarily with the game. So long as you're okay with the anime-ishness, it's an outstanding game. The only negative I can think is when the mechanics change up and it's hard to figure out what to do. But those circumstances are so rare, it's hardly worth mentioning. So long as the writing and art style is good, it's hard to fuck up a virtual novel. But Valhalla definitely went above and beyond. So if you're looking for a high quality interactive virtual novel in a dystopian cyberpunk world, one with an outstandingly funny cast that is only matched by its outstanding music selection, where you play as a bartender that mixes drinks and saves lives, then VA-11 Hall-A is the game for you.